Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump caught White House guests disrespecting the flag, makes them immediately regret it. The Marine Corps band in their bright red uniforms were on the south balcony of the White House on a bright, sunny Tuesday in Washington D.C. The Army chorus sang, beginning the event with "America the Beautiful" and concluded with "God Bless America." At least two people who were guests at President Trump's Celebration of America event yesterday knelt, showing exactly why so many Americans are ticked over the national anthem controversy. The event replaced a celebration at the White House in honor of the Super Bowl win for the Philadelphia Eagles. These two disrespectful idiots took a knee as the Star Spangled Banner rang out across the South Lawn of the White House. Simply disgraceful. These aren't social justice warriors. These are unpatriotic jerks. A video was posted to Twitter by a reporter for SVT, the Swedish national public TV broadcaster. It shows a man, wearing a light blue button-down, kneeling as the national anthem played, before clapping and ultimately coming to his feet after the song finished. I guess he thought that was his five minutes of fame or something. What it really amounted to was making a fool out of himself internationally. President Trump showcases all of these liberal dimwits for what they are. America hating. Radical leftists who are far more interested in hating our brave police officers and our country than they are in respecting America and taking national pride in their country and president. When President Trump took the podium, he blew his audience away with his love for our country, military, police, flag and the national anthem. He made every single person who disrespects them like this look like the small, craven liberals that they really are. The man, who did not identify himself left the event immediately after the United States Marine Band performed the anthem, according to a news anchor for TV2 Denmark. G, crawling away with his tail between his legs like the lowly cur he is. Guess he couldn't stand patriotism after he showed how much he hates his own country. There was a second man who was pictured kneeling as well. That was posted to Twitter by a CNN White House producer. He was wearing a light blue checkered shirt and had a little American flag. This guy was right up front. He was also apparently the same person who reportedly heckled Trump. That guy was roundly booed by everyone around him. CNN's analyst April Ryan posted false news on Twitter yesterday claiming people were booing Trump when it was the heckler they went after. She eventually retracted what she said after her own colleagues called her out on the lie. Stop hiding behind the armed services and the national anthem, the guy yelled to a chorus of boos, according to the Daily Mail. Let's hear it for the Eagles. Go home, one person shouted at the heckler. The president didn't engage the heckler, but looked in his direction and pursed his lips. He looked like he wanted to smack him. Right there with ya. President Trump disinvited the Philadelphia Eagles to the White House after they at first said they had more than 70 players coming to the People's House to celebrate. By this week, that number had dropped to less than 10 and then to only one player. They kept trying to change the date to one where President Trump would be out of the country. I don't blame the president in the least for canceling the visit. That was totally appropriate. If you insist on being ungrateful and insulting a sitting president of the United States, then you don't deserve the honor of going to the White House period. Trump claimed on Monday that the team disagreed with their president because he insists that they proudly stand for the national anthem, hand on heart, in honor of the great men and women of our military and the people of our country. Eagles players denied that accusation, pointing out that no one on the team knelt for the anthem during last season. But that has nothing to do with how each individual on the team states his beliefs and shows his disrespect for President Trump. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders accused the team of a political stunt just minutes before Tuesday's alternative event began, claiming the players had chosen to abandon their fans. That's exactly what they did. If this wasn't a political stunt by the Eagles franchise then they wouldn't have committed to attend the event and then backed out, she said in her Tuesday press briefing. And if it wasn't a political stunt. They wouldn't have attempted to reschedule the visit while the president was overseas. Trump was brief in his remarks and only spoke for about four minutes. He began by explaining why it's an issue of patriotism for Americans to stand for the national anthem. We love our flag and stand for our national anthem, Trump said to great applause from the crowd on the South Lawn of the White House. We stand to honor our military and to honor country and to honor the fallen heroes who never made it back home. Yes, we do. And those that don't can take a hike. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.